My horses are my legs. My horses are the part of my life that, that allow me to still be me. Hi, I'm Amberly Snyder and I'm a member of Team Biomain. I started riding horses at the age of three and competing in rodeo at the age of seven. I don't come from a rodeo family. My dad was a major league baseball player. My mom was a cheerleader. When we moved from California to Utah, when I was seven, I told my dad I would only move if he bought me a Palomino Burrow horse when we got here. He followed through, and that's when I started competing in rodeo. So I rodeoed through the junior days of the high school, and by my senior year, I made the national high school finals, as well as the national Little Riches finals, where I came home with a world all-around title. So of course, that's life's perfect, right? Everything's going just the way that you plan. Well, in January of 2010, I was on my way to Denver, Colorado for the stock show when I was involved in a rollover truck accident and was ejected from my truck, hit a fence post, and broke my back. At that point, your whole life changes. I mean, everything you thought you had planned just disappears. So the doctors told me the chances of me walking were slim to none but more to the none. So I had to decide what I was gonna do. My goals in the hospital were walk, ride, rodeo. That's all I cared about. Those are my three things. The walking hasn't happened like I planned on. The riding started four months after. It's when I finally convinced doctors and my mom that that's what I was gonna do. So I got back on and I, I truly wish that, that that four month mark of when I got back on was going to be all I'd imagined. But truly that day was harder than the day they told me I would never walk again because I realized every part of my life was gonna be different. So for me at that point, it was rebuilding, you know, re-figuring out what I could do and what I was going to be capable of. Horses have played a huge role in my life from as far back as I can remember. So even after an accident, even after my whole life changed, my horses still matter. I mean, they're still the most, most important part of my life. So really, I mean, they've given me a, a very different freedom now. You think about what your horses mean to you and, and what value they have for you. Well, my horses are my legs. My horses are the part of my life that, that allow me to still be me. I have to sit in this wheelchair the majority of the time, but when I get on my horse's back, I get to leave it at the trailer and be the person that I wanna be all the time. You don't get that anywhere else but I'm pretty lucky to have them to do that for me. Independence is a huge thing. Being able to do things by yourself is, is just so valuable. And I don't think that everyone realizes that until you can't, you know, until catching your horse out of a pen is difficult or throwing a saddle on is something that you have to ask somebody else to do or getting yourself on. So I've been able to make these neat discoveries of what I've been able to accomplish since my accident to now. And you know, it's, it is, it's the everyday things that people don't think about when they're with their horses. So for me, teaching my horses to put their head into my lap, that's super important because I can't reach them when they're up high, which sometimes they do just to be brats. If they put their heads up high, I can't get to them. You know, if they, if they want to walk off without me, they really can. But I've learned that I'm capable of more than what I even imagined. So I can saddle by myself, and I did figure out I can pull myself on. Not all the time. It's one of those things like, it has to be like the perfect day, the perfect time, and you just have to feel like you can do it. And so I've learned how I can pull myself back on. And that was amazing for me to just feel the independence and feel that I was capable of doing that. It took me 18 months after my accident to where I started competing in rodeo again. And here I am, eight years later, Competing professionally, I barrel race and I breakaway rope. And I'm sitting in the top 20 for the wilderness circuit so far this year, so hopefully we'll hang in there.